Our home planet, Earth, is unlike any other. It is the only place in the known universe to host life. The name Earth is a thousand years old. While every other planet in our solar system was named after a Greek or Roman deity, the Germanic word Earth simply means ground. The whole surface of our Earth is a series of connected ecosystems. For thousands of years, many cultures have developed in harmony with their surroundings, becoming an integral part of their environment while respecting these ecosystems. The music you are about to hear was recorded 60 years ago in the middle of the Orinoco Amazonian rainforest. This is the sound of the Yaquana people living in harmony with their natural environment.
I would like to thank Mr. Charles Brewer Garias and Juan Carlos Maldonado Art Collection again for generously loaning the Yaquana music and letting me arrange it into a cello duet. When I first heard the music at JCMAC, I was so captivated. So I wanted to let people know about this beautiful music. And I sincerely thank Victoria, who is with us here today, for being very helpful throughout the whole loaning process. Thank you very much. And thank you, Yejin wonderful composer and violinist. And because this whole concert is themed about the environment and we hope that you feel like you're in a special space with us tonight, we wanna give an a extra warm welcome to our friends Dara and Dave, who set up their nice table outside as you were walking in, you maybe saw it. They're from volunteercleanup.org here. It's a local organization, but they also have um, affiliates all around the country, world, country at least, okay, yeah. And um, you can check out what they're up to by, by visiting volunteercleanup.org. And would you guys just stand up and wave to people so that they know that you're here. And we really appreciate what you do in cleaning up our coastlines and our oceans and whatever each of us can do to help with that is always wonderful. So thank you again. On to the next. As human beings, we often develop a special attachment to places. Whether they have an important memory connected to them or just because of their sheer beauty or peacefulness. The next piece is about the latter. The composer, Frances Pollock, was recently invited by her mother-in-law to accompany her to her favorite place in the world, Tamarindo, a coastal town in Costa Rica. While talking about what inspired her piece, she mentioned that it is not only about the beauty of the area, but also, more importantly, about the joy of watching her mother-in-law appreciated so immensely and so completely that she lost sight of any critique or baggage she initially brought with her. It is about being present and open to the world as it exists and finding joy in other people's joy. It is about setting your heart on preserving these special places that mean so much to so many people so that your loved ones and future generations can also experience their beauty. The phrase Pura Vida which means pure life, is repeated throughout the piece. As you listen to Tamarindo, try to notice the intertwining motifs and shimmering harmonic movements which portray the composer's experience at Tamarindo.
way. As we listen to the contrast between the serene sounds of the forest and the ocean and the hustle and bustle of busy Miami Beach traffic, we're reminded of humanity's enormous and often devastating impact on the planet. We're in the middle of the sixth mass extinction and a huge percentage of the world's biodiversity is dying out. This is caused by human activity our unsustainable use of land, water and energy, and climate change is devastating habitats and ecosystems. The species extinction rate is now 1,000 to 10,000 times higher than natural extinction rates. So what can we do in the face of these catastrophic facts? We can encourage our leaders and communities to cut carbon emissions and make large scale changes. We can try to create change in our workplaces. Here at New World Symphony, we have a newly formed green committee dedicated to making this organization more sustainable. We can try to make small changes in our daily lives, recycle as much as possible, save energy at home, use forms of transport other than cars and eat more plant-based food. We can volunteer and donate to environmental causes. The next piece composed by Ye Jin Min for this concert sets to music a poem by a child called Arjun who expresses in simple words the need to care for our environment. Now we'd like you to join in on this piece by humming the note G. So we have a backing track to help you. Let's listen to that. <laughs> it's good, so you can keep it going as long as you like for the whole piece, or you can stop to listen and take a break if you would like. That sounds beautiful.
what do we do? Make her a mess. Make her a mess. Make her a mess.
what you are hearing right now are samples collected by NASA from various celestial bodies that have been transposed to sound waves. It is the sound of the unknown, of what lies beyond our limited vision, of a vacuum where no life can be sustained. It is to this seemingly endless void that NASA sent a record containing, among other things, music by Ludwig van Beethoven. This composer, who was so good at expressing the rawness of human emotions, was deemed worthy enough to have his work sent to space to be possibly discovered by intelligent life, if such a thing exists. Holy song of thanksgiving of a convalescent to the deity. Such are the words that Beethoven inscribed before composing the next piece, the slow movement from his string quartet, Opus 132, a transcendent hymn to healing. After recovering from a grave illness, which he feared would have cost him his life, the composer experienced a deeper awareness of the fragility of life. It is imperative that humanity develop the same consciousness of the fragility of nature. A true reconciliation with nature can only take place if we decide to act as stewards rather than masters, if we become conscious of our mission to take care of our common home rather than to exploit it. Just as Beethoven wrote his holy song of thanksgiving, let us be resolute in our desire to be more grateful and to embark on an important healing journey.
everyone. Hello. <laughs> we are on to the final stage of our concert this evening. And we wish to thank you so deeply for being here with us to experience all of this beauty together. We sought to create a varied, engaging, and immersive concert experience, which was made possible by the ever-encouraging staff here at the New World Symphony. There's so many complex elements woven into this show, and we absolutely could not do it without their expertise, cooperation, and support. So thank you profoundly to all of you. Thank you. All of these lighting effects, projections, and India's enchanting soundscapes. India Hui, everybody. She was the one who made all of the soundscapes in between the pieces. Brava, brava. Um, all of these elements brought us into beautiful environments for each piece. We heard the sounds of the Amazonian rainforest. We saw beautiful images of Costa Rica. We're called to action by a child's poem. And in Beethoven, we found sublime stillness healing, and peace. Now, we will open our eyes and look outward and remember that we are all one human family with a responsibility to care for each other, our communities, our ecosystems, and Mother Earth. Our final experience today is in C, like the key of C, it'll be very clear, by Terry Riley. It's a minimalist composition from the 1960s, and it's made from 53 individual blocks of music, which we cycle through ad libitum, as we please, in the moment. So every performance is completely unique. This piece is all about collective movement and musically represents this freedom of individuality and the beauty of working together. Each and every one of us has a voice, hopes, responsibilities, and when we work together, we can make grand things possible. Much like this concert. It was all dreamt up by Ye Jin. Thank you so much, Ye Jin, for your beautiful compositions. <laughs> and by India, again, for her soundscapes. And what you'll hear are some fabulous accordion skills. And to Dominique for his wonderful violin playing and technological skills, too. He made the video you're about to see. And my name is Victor. <laughs> it has been a wild ride, and we've been planning this concert for months, and we've been planning it until about two hours ago as well. <laughs> so there were so many things involved, and I can't stress enough how much we need to thank everybody. So um, It's been enormously fulfilling all the way. And now... It's time to bring out the rest of the band. So if you would please help us welcome a few additional members of this ensemble, this is how we are actually going to create this piece by Terry Riley. So, thank you. As their music begins to surround us in this space, we hope that you will reflect on everything that we have shared and feel that you are part of this experience. Look around the room, smile at each other, close your eyes and, or tap along with the beat. You might feel energized, you might feel reflective and meditative. You can focus on individual voices or focus out on the composite whole of everybody here. This moment together, right now, is unique, special, and ours. So let us be aware, let us care for our environment, let us enact necessary change, let us love our planet and each other Thank you.
Thank you.
Thank you.